You want to be a great engineering leader? Be boring. Allow me to clarify. Many engineering orgs are fast moving places. Your people constrained, your time constrained, you've got features to ship and fixes to make, so you and your team are busting your butts to deliver as best you can. And whatever you deliver, it's almost certain that a lot of people are gonna be in some way disappointed. For the sales team, the support team, your customers, it's too little, too late, too slow, too buggy, too different from what they expected, whatever. After you've been burned by this discontent, you might see or participate in a fair amount of heroism. That's where you or someone on your team swoops in with some last minute changes, maybe over a weekend, trying to get in an 11th hour feature or fix. And sometimes it works out. You feel good, congratulations, you've saved the product and the team, you're a hero, congrats. But here is my guidance. Strive to build an org that never requires heroism. Predictability is more important than velocity. The more predictable your delivery is, and the more your organization and your customers can rely on you doing what you say you're gonna do, the better an engineering leader you are. The more drama you have and the more erratic your releases, the more likely it is that you're gonna find yourself with a burned out team and your leadership will be rightfully questioned. Yes, of course, you can still have plenty of fun in your engineering work, but work proactively to make your software releases as predictable, as heroism free, and as boring as possible. In practice, this means better planning, better estimates, and better early communication with key stakeholders. Do this, and you'll earn a reputation as an engineering leader who can be depended upon. Like and follow for more.